back to my channel. So today I want to talk about the stock Starbucks. Uh, ticker symbol is SBUX. And uh, I find this stock is very attractive to me. And here I will share some of the reasons that why I find it's uh, so interesting. So recently I saw the interview with Bill Ackman. And, you know, the two and a half billion dollars went into, we, we, you know, we sold Starbucks around $90 a share. We repurchased it around $60 a share around today's prices. Uh, we've got about an eight or 9% position uh, in Starbucks. We bought more stock in Agilent. We bought a lot more stock in Berkshire Hathaway. We bought more stock in, uh, you know, uh, we've got four. Who has just made $2.5 billion through this economic downturn. And he shared that he has purchased Star Starbucks price again. Although recently, I think uh, just uh, three months ago, he sold his several million, uh, several hundred million Starbucks shares at $90. And he mentioned that he recently repurchased stock, Starbucks uh, stock price at the price range of like $60. And uh, he mentioned it's because as the economy is going back to the normal and people are getting back to work and uh, there's uh, more and more testing going on and uh, uh, people are like staying at home. So he have the positive uh, aspect of the economy. So that's why he feels like Starbucks stock price will going back to normal. And uh, today I want to share some of my findings about the Starbucks that I may not know before. Starbucks has been in the industry for around 50 years. And through these years, why it's become so competitive, uh, like along with other companies, and what makes this brand or product feel so special. So first, I will give you guys some uh, fun fact about the company. Uh, so the company has a uh, majorly product is their retail stores, which accounts, uh, I think, majority of their revenue source is like uh, 70%. And also they have the license business, which they can give the permit to the licensee to operate their uh, Starbucks stores, and which accounts, I believe is around 10%. And they also have some other uh, revenue source by collaborating with other companies, like they have the ready to drink Star Starbucks drinks, some other products like K-Cups and uh, uh, Kivana and also uh, some other like beverages. I think the first advantage the company has is its mobile payment system. So they launched the mobile system uh, like the mobile app in 2009, which is so early. It's like when a lot of the companies doesn't have into the mobile game yet. Starbucks already have this mobile app ready and uh, working very well. Through Starbucks payment system, the customers can just go through their app and by scan uh, the barcode, they can make the payment. So nowadays, even people going out without wallet, but they will not going out without a phone. So if they have the Starbucks uh, app download on their app, even though they forgot their wallet, they are still able to purchase Starbucks. So that gives uh, some uh, more channels to the companies that the customers are not just a limit to the credit card or cash. The second point I find is interesting is the company use technology and the AI to better the customer experience and also to enhance their loyalty program. So like a lot of companies doing now, uh, Starbucks has a point system where you can earn points by purchase the drinks or food in a bar Starbucks store and when you reach a certain milestone, they will give you a free food or drink and uh, they adopt that it's very early. I remember in 2013 when I was just doing an internship in a ad space company and my manager said he finally hit his Starbucks milestone like he have a certain amount of drinks per month and then he can uh, enjoy unlimited coffee <laughs> every day. So at that time, it gives me a very strong impression that this loyalty program is what a lot of customers are like very interested in and that they are just uh, like striving for it uh, to drink coffee and uh, it has a big moment in their customer base. Or the company also uses AI technology to suggest the drink you may like, 
or based on the customer's past purchase experience and they will create the, some feed that the customer may like so that makes the app more personalized rather than some standard retail that trying to sell their product in general so that's what makes the brand different from other retailers and the third advantage I think is uh, Starbucks have their like big growth plan in China in the next five years so although nowadays a lot of companies they want to grow globally Starbucks did very well in the uh, international markets like in China, in India and uh, Japan and uh, uh, we know that in China market previously they have a competitor uh, Luckin Coffee but recently due to some financial scandal Luckin Coffee is obviously done so that bringing Starbucks in the leading position again in the Chinese market and they uh, pretend steady grow because Starbucks in China they just not only have the physical store but also they have cooperate with Alibaba like they can order the coffee online and get it delivered so that is like you order Grubhub and uh, or you order Uber Eats and get your Starbucks so that's also have a big potential in the current COVID-19 situation. From a financial perspective, the company has been doing well in the past uh, like 50 years, except like during 2007 to 2008, because of the bad management, the company didn't figure out the good strategies to grow. And uh, after their founder, uh, Howard uh, Shoes, I don't know whether I pronounced his name uh, correctly, but his name is Howard after the founder come back to the company the company uh, has like regained their strategy so flywheel digital strategy and their financial has been going back on track and their growth has been like in the double digit like middle to high level through the past of years and their balance sheet is very healthy with a large amount of cash flow so I think they would definitely survive in this COVID-19 situations um, because they are just the leading uh, companies in this industry and uh, we know the fundamentals and the financial data are all very attractive so that's, now let's talk about the stock price so overall I think Starbucks is a very strong brand and they provide like specialty products and to the consumers which can create the pricing premium so currently the stock price is $77 I feel like it's still undervalued when we compare with the stock price of $86 in the December last year when there's no coronavirus yet and although I cannot I may not get the price point as good as Bill Ackman around $60 to $70 but I think even around $70 is a still good long-term environment and that would be very stable because as I see Starbucks as a strong brand like planted in the heart of people uh, I think when the economy get back they will like from time to time they will want a couple of tre treatments for themselves as the product uh, in my opinion is tastes very good that's all my thoughts on starbucks today hope you guys find it helpful and i will see you guys in my next video bye